meteorologically speaking, of course. Hey, I've had, a, I've had this question from many of you. You've posed it to me on my Twitter. You've talked about the liquid to snow ratio. Maybe you haven't asked me that way, but you've asked me, hey, we had five inches of snow officially at DFW. This snow, uh, the, the, the two rounds we had gave us five total. So what was the ratio of water to snow? Well, remember one inch of rainfall, it all has to do with the air temperature at the time of it snowing. So the general rule is 10 to 1. One inch, is a, one inch of rain equals 10 inches of snow, but that's different when it's 34 degrees. You have a 7 to 1 ratio. You have a wet snow. That would be 7 inches. We didn't have that. There's the average. That's the 10 to 1, 32 degrees. You get one inch of water, you get 10 inches of snow. We're probably a little closer to the 15 to 1 ratio, 28 degrees, 15 inches of snow. So that's the, the colder it is, then the higher your snowfall total will be. The, the uh, I guess the warmer it is, the closer to 32, 33, or 34. And you, you're asking, I know you're at home right now. He doesn't know what he's talking about. You can't have snow at 34 degrees. Absolutely you can. Remember, the, the snowfall, uh, the temperatures are taken about six feet uh, above the surface. So it might be 34 degrees up here, but down at the ground where the snow is accumulating, it will be 32 degrees. And of course, it's 32 degrees in different levels of the atmosphere. So you can have snow when the temperature's 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, or 34. There you go.